little by little, I was more, more into this part and I was traveling northern because every time I was traveling toward Nicaragua, I saw this, you know, freaking wind <laughs> that it was blowing all the time. So I say, okay, it has to be a place uh, with water and with good duration where I can practice more. And yeah, fortunately there was, so it's one of the reasons why I stay more and more in this country because uh, there was this incredible spot. This place is called Bahia Salinas. Uh, it's a very, very interesting bay because it's, it's right uh, in the, across the border between Nicaragua and Costa Rica. So from this side we see the Nicaraguan uh, mountains. In the middle there is a beautiful island, it's a protected island uh, for nesting first. And uh, yeah, so people were asking me, how can I do this for, can you teach me? And uh, after one year, I realized that I really, really enjoy also to teach. And uh, so this is how everything started. So any uh, crazy experiences while you've been here in your nine years? Any well, close calls with death or? No, honestly, I mean, of course, in nine years, uh, I saw a lot of things going on. Uh, I remember just that the first years with a sea kite, with two line or anyway the first generation sea kite, uh, the, the situation as I told before, it was not so safe. So it was a little more stressful to teach as well because uh, of the gusts that we can have here. Uh, but the year after year the condition definitely improved. So right now it's much more relaxed to, to teach. You see the improvement of the students uh, very, very fast. In a few days they can really start to uh, join themselves. Before it was taking a week before they get on the board and start to really go. And now it takes a few hours. Okay. And you get a lot of students here from all over the place? Yeah, or? that's the interesting part of to be here because Costa Rica is a really nice country to visit as a, as a regular tourist. Um, so many people take advantage to visit the national park, the volcanoes and then end the trip uh, for a week of kiting. Uh, so there are people really from all over, uh, mostly of course uh, from North America because we are closer but uh, definitely uh, it's very interesting to be here because you really have uh, a little piece of world uh, in this place that I consider like a, a little island. And you get into this bay that is very remote, very unspoiled. And it's like to be in a little island with this kite community. Uh, so it, it makes it very, very interesting because uh, people are just into this idea to have fun, kite and try to be in the nature as much as possible. No, the rain like, started coming straight down. Uh, we definitely have wind. The, the good part of this is that uh, we probably have uh, in the windy season like few days without wind. And that means seven months with probably 10 days without wind, kind of. Wow. Uh, the other part of the story is that the wind can be too strong sometimes. When it's too strong, it's also more gusty. So that makes the place only for intermediate or advanced kiters. But the good thing is that anyway, the wind is stronger. So if you have a 15 knots gas with, with a strong wind, so with a small kite, you don't feel it so much as if it's like between 10 knots and 25 knots. The gas here is kind of like part of the nature and you kind of start to like it after a while. You try to fly as a bird as much as possible and high as possible and instead of take out the board and do some technical uh, position for a nice picture I try to just enjoy and like stop the work and just yeah try to, to to be in the air as much as possible. 